Over the last four years in our primary care clinic, three patients came in and each of them had had fires with their home oxygen and I noticed that they all had mustaches. And I was think, kind of thinking back and, and talking to the patients, they would say, all had the same story. Caught on fire, pulled out their nasal cannula, and blue flames were shooting up. And one of them even described it as like looking into the face of hell. Oxygen itself's not flammable, and the nasal cannula is really what's burning. And I was thinking, now all these individuals had mustaches, so I was wondering if the facial hair was kind of acting as kindling for, uh, to then cause ignition of the nasal cannula in the fire. They can have very bad facial burns and airway burns also. When fire burns the airway, then you have swelling and tissue death, and it can be very dangerous. The patients I spoke with, uh, one of the individuals was grinding mower blades. Another was using a grinder on his scooter. Another one was smoking. And we, of course, we tell all patients to avoid smoking on home oxygen and flames. But I think when people are just going about their occupation or daily lives, they're exposed. One patient said he was in the vicinity of somebody lighting a match and the ember landed in his must, on his mustache and started the fire. So it can be what you might think are innocuous or benign things, but with the facial hair and oxygen, it turns into a real risk. Facial hair is a personal choice, but it also might be cultural or religious also. So um, Dr. the other Dr. Greenland and Dr. Anderson and I and myself have been kind of thinking of ways to prevent this. Avoidance of spark is number one. If you can't, then maybe um, uh, um, an avoiding facial hair products that contain oils, using more water-based gel sorts of components that are not flammable. Um, there probably should, there needs to be more work into nasal cannula tubing that's not flammable because that's really where the energy for the fire comes from. We hadn't seen this described in the literature with patients in facial hair. Uh, we wanted to see if we could recreate this. So we uh, took a mannequin head and drilled holes in its nose and put nasal cannula on it with oxygen flowing at two liters a minute. And then we applied one with uh, a mustache made from actually my hair and then we took a grinder and to see if we could recreate what was happening to, what patients. Was happening to patients. And uh, the mannequin without the facial hair <clears throat> wouldn't light, but the mannequin with the facial hair really lit up quite quickly. I actually showed that video to one of the patients when I saw him back, and he said, oh yeah, that was me. And that's where he described it as looking into the face of hell when he pulled that oxygen cannula out of his nose.